The full send March drop will be dropping March 15th. Like this video and subscribe for more resale predictions and drop lists. First up we have this Layers hoodie. I'm kind of a fan of this. I think it's a pretty cool gray color and I think I like the like blue or red splashes on the sides and I think it just is a really nice hoodie. So I definitely think this will be a pretty cool personal. Next up we have the multi-panel gold script hoodie. This isn't my favorite. I feel like it's just a little bit too small of a logo but I still think it is a nice classy hoodie to just wear if you're just trying to wear something you know casual and simple. So I think it is a pretty cool item. Next up we have the Polar Sleeve Rona Jacket. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not a big fan of the Polar Fleece Jackets and I just feel like it's just putting out Corona everywhere. So it's a little weird. Either way, it's a fine personal if you wanna wear it. Next up we have the Full Send Kings Hockey Jersey. I think this one's pretty cool if you're a fan of hockey jerseys, but it's just kind of like a rip off of the Kings logo. So if you're into the Kings, it's a pretty cool item, but if not, maybe don't wear it. Next up we have the sign language hoodie. I think this one's pretty cool. It's just kind of, you know, showing off full send and I think sign language. So I think it is a pretty cool item, but I'm not like the biggest fan of it. And I think there are a lot better, other better hoodies to get this drop. Next up we have the Fuego hoodie. I mean, it's just a rip off of the Takis logo and I am not trying to wear a shirt that looks like the Takis logo on my chest because I feel like that just looks like some super bootleg merch. So I definitely don't think it's a really interesting item, but I think it is kind of funny and it's, it's kind of like a weird piece. Next up we have the Born Senders tee. I'm, it looks cool, but it's nothing special. And I think there are some other better tees, but I think it is a fine personal item if you do want to get this. Next up we got the LA Senders baseball jersey. I think this one actually looks really cool, especially in this blue colorway. I think it's just a really nice baseball jersey. And if you're into baseball jerseys, this definitely is a really nice like baseball jersey to get. Next up we have the Nelk Boys basketball jersey. I believe this is a Miami South Beach colorway and I think this one looks really cool as well. It is a nice basketball jersey and I think Nelk puts out a lot of these really cool basketball jersey designs. Next up we have the Nelk Boys basketball jersey again but this is the Orlando Magic colorway. I think this one's also cool but I think I'm a bigger fan of the South Beach colorway than the Magic one but I still think this is a pretty cool basketball jersey. Next up we have the Full Send Hockey Hoodie. I think this one's kind of cool if you're just trying to wear like a little hockey hoodie, but I'm not the biggest fan of this. I think there are a lot other better hoodies to wear that actually have cool designs on them. Next up we have the Checkered Quilt Puffer Jacket. I think this one's kind of cool. I think a lot of their outerwear items are really nice and I think this is like a kind of heavy duty item. So it's probably gonna be super expensive, but if you can afford this, I think this would be a really cool personal. Next up we have the Lips Nylon Coach Jacket and I just think this one looks super weird. I'm not trying to wear another dude's lips on my like jacket I guess. I don't know. It's just a really weird item that I don't think a lot of people are going to want and it's probably going to be super expensive so I definitely wouldn't get this one. Next up we have the Motorworks Hooded Camo Jacket. I think this one looks pretty cool and you know if you're into camo I think this is a pretty interesting shirt to get so or a jacket to get so I think this is a pretty cool personal. Next up we got the international tee and I think this one is a really nice tee if you're just looking for one for yourself and I think this could be one of the better tees out of the whole drop. It's just a really simple design and it looks pretty cool if you're just trying to wear a full send item. Next up we got the full send glitch tee. This one is just pretty simple. It's just the full send logo with like a glitch thing and it's more for people who just want to wear full send stuff but don't really like the designs and just really like the logo. Next up we have the Full Send Send It Sweatpants. These ones are pretty cool. I actually do like the design. I wish they would have put this one on a shirt. I'm pretty sure they don't have this on a shirt. But I think this is a really cool design and if you're into these sweatpants, I think this is a really good personal item to get. Next up we got the Full Send Script Rib Beanie. Um, I kind of like these, they're kind of cool, but I'm not like the biggest fan of them. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of this script, but it does look like a pretty comfortable beanie and a pretty solid like beanie to wear so I think it could be a cool personal item. Next up we got the Guccio hoodie. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of these. This just looks like one of those expensive things that just does not look good and I don't I don't know anyone who would wear this but if you like it you like it and it could be a cool personal. Next up we got the garment dyed pocket hoodie. It, it looks kind of weird. I don't really like how the pocket kind of obstructs the full send logo but it is kind of an interesting shirt and I think some people will like it. Next up we have the Nelk Patch Beanie. I think this definitely is the better beanie out of the two and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I think the patch is kind of nice and it looks a lot better than just the, the script. I'm not a big fan of like the regular beanie compared to the rib one, but I still think it is pretty cool. 
Next up, we got the quarter zip nylon pullover. I'm not a big fan of this. Don't really like the logo in the corner. So I think this is gonna be one of those items that's super expensive and not just that good looking at all. Next up, we have the camo logo quilted jacket. I think this is a pretty similar, similar item. It's just kind of like a logo slapped on. It is kind of cool if you do like the quilted jackets, but I'm not like the biggest fan. I think it is a cool item though. Next up, we have the Motorworks crew neck. I think this is another pretty interesting item. Not the biggest fan, but I think this is an item that a lot of people will be wanting. And I think it is a pretty nice item as well. Next up, we have the technical moto pullover. I think this one is all right. It's the Mountain Dew logo, I believe. And I think this is like a pullover that people will want, but I'm not like the biggest fan of it at all. Next up, we got the Glitch Beanie. This is definitely the best out of all three beanies, so I definitely would suggest going for this one if you are looking for a beanie. I just think this one looks really nice. I think the full send logo on this does look really cool since it is embroidered. The Steve Will Do It MGD crew neck does look kind of cool. I'm not like the biggest fan of it, but it is kind of a cool item if you are into Steve and if you do like his content, because I think it is kind of like a cool, I don't know, Steve Will Do It type item. Next up, we have the Steve Will Do It Soft Serve hoodie. I mean, I'm not like the biggest fan of this, but it is kind of an all right hoodie. I wish it kind of looked a little bit better, but I'm not like, I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty cool. Next up, we got the Steve Will Do It Weed Shooter tee. I think this looks pretty cool, you know. Steve Will Do It is a big fan of shooting weeds. He doesn't like weeds in his garden. And I think this one kind of, you know, represents that. He just doesn't like weeds that much and he really wants to get rid of them. Next up, we have the Steve Will Do It Gambler's Anonymous tee. I think this one looks, I don't know, interesting. It just seems like there's a lot of writing on like one little thing and it just, it's kind of like kind of all condensed in there, which doesn't look the greatest, but I think it does look cool either way. Next up, we have the Bang Crew Neck. This one looks pretty cool. It's like the thing where you shoot something and then like a flag comes out. I think this one looks cool if you want a, like a gun on your shirt. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I think it is kind of cool. Next up, we got the Full Send Phase Hoodie. This one's pretty cool. I see, I kind of like all the letters like phasing into each other. And I think it just is an overall pretty cool Full Send item. I think it is a really good hoodie if you're just looking for like the Full Send logo and not for like any cool design. Next up, we got the Lip Tattoo Hoodie. I'm not a big fan of this. I just don't want someone's like face on my hoodie and I'm not a big fan, but I think people will like this. I definitely think it is a pretty cool personal if you do want someone's face on your hoodie. Next up, we have the No to Drugs hoodie. I think you should always say no to drugs, and this kind of hoodie represents that. You should always say no to drugs, and you should never do drugs. Next up, we have the Nelk Boys tee. I think this one looks pretty cool if you're just trying to have a shirt that says Nelk Boys on it, but it is kind of like an interesting item if you just want, you know, something really simple like that, and you don't really want all these like extravagant designs. Next up, we got the Full Send Star Tee. I think this one looks cool. If you are like into something that doesn't have the Full Send logo on it, it is kind of cool. I'm not like the biggest fan, but it is a kind of an interesting shirt if you are into that. Next up, we have the Shredding Lines Tee. I think this one looks pretty cool. I definitely think this is one of their better like looking design shirts. And I think it just overall is a pretty nice tee. I might have to cop this one myself for the personal. So I definitely would suggest looking at this one and seeing if you want to cop it. Next up, we have the shotgun tool. I mean, this is a classic full send item. You always have to cop one of these if you do like need a new full send item. This is just like a classic full send item, this in the flag. So I definitely would suggest copying the full send shotgun tool if you haven't already. Next up, we have the last supper puzzle. I think this is pretty cool. I'm not trying to put together a 500 piece puzzle, but if you are trying to do that, I think this is a pretty cool item. And I think the, the logo on it is pretty pretty damn cool and I think a lot of people will like that. Next up we have the full send poker set. I mean I'm a big fan of poker and I think this is actually a pretty classy like way to you know just have a poker set. I think it looks good and it doesn't just look like a super like full send branding. It looks really cool and I think it's something that you can bring anywhere when you're trying to play some poker. Next up we got the full send pool cue. I mean if you're trying to play pool this is a pretty cool item but if not it's not really the item for you, but either way, it's kind of a cool little accessory they made. Next up, we have the Full Send Zippo Lighter. This is another like essential Nelk item. They always drop a Zippo, and I think this one is pretty cool. These usually are pretty highly priced, but I think it is a pretty cool item if you do want one yourself.
Next up we have the full send flag. This is just a classic full send item. And of course, almost everyone is gonna be wanting one of these flags. So I definitely would suggest copying one of these if you don't have one yourself. I think it's a really cool item. I think a lot of people will be wanting these. Next up we have the full send hand tufted rug. I think this is another item that a lot of people will want. And I think this is an item that people, you know, will just have to have because it is a full send rug, which I think a lot of people don't have now. Like they don't have a rug. So I think a full send rug is pretty cool. Last up, we got the Steve's flag. I think this one pretty cool. It's the weed killer or whatever it is. Either way, this is a pretty cool item. And I think there are a lot of good items in this drop. So I definitely would suggest going for something at least.